bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be Those are where the winners live Winner winners yeah. chicken dinners the big winners <laughs> They win and they buy a mountain I mean they bulldoze the whole top of that daggone mountain away <laughs> Good golly <laughs> They did just for that house are heading to Government Wash Campground, which is about 30 minutes from Las Vegas. And the campground is on Lake Mead. And I believe we have to have a access pass, which is America the Beautiful. This is the pass that we're going to use to get in which will make it free for this trip in. We've uh, used it a couple times. It's $80 a year. But if you need to know what the other fees are, right here. All right, so that got us in here, like I said. It's the annual pass. You can look it up online for the National Parks Pass. What you think? You're going to Lake Mead. <laughs> Wait, what you doing? You just keep going straight? Yes. Yeah, look at, that looks like a noodle road. A noodle road. <laughs> a boat launch here somewhere. Just amazing. This is such a beautiful place, but the water's all gone. This is the boat launch. That's the boat launch. <laughs> wow. Look how far the water is from where the boat launch used to be. You can see over there on that rock, look at how much it's gone down. It's gotta be 25, 30 feet. I mean, I, I'm guessing. That's crazy. It's a long, long ways. Wow. All right, so once you get in here, this is, uh, it's not free camping because you have to buy the pass, but you just camp wherever you want to camp. Some people are oh, even yeah. camped down here. So we just need to drive around and see what we can find. So like they had a beautiful dock or, or launch and then as it went out they just poured more and more concrete now it's like a racetrack <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, it's got a lot of rock in it so what i would suggest is if you come here i would look at your map really well on google and look at all the little dirt roads and then be very careful because I read a couple comments on a vlog that said once you get down closer to where the water is, those roads can get soft because that's where the water used to be, the lake used to be there. So there's like places down there. It is a Friday, so there's a lot of people probably here for the weekend. Oh man, we're going. 
Let's go over where that guy's walking. Okay. All right, well, we were right down there, but we realized and we looked up on the uh, tide chart, the water comes right up in that area that we were at, and it wasn't that pretty. So we're kind of waiting. There's a bunch of fishing people down here, and we're going to go down. They should be leaving. It's getting dark, so once they pick up their chairs and drive out, then we're going to go ahead and go park right down in there. So we're just waiting. Coming up. That's how you get up the hill. <laughs> Tell them why you're digging in the dirt? Uh, one, it's easy, and I should be able to level up by just moving a little bit of the gravel around. At least get it closer so I don't have to lift things or do whatever. Yep, and then we don't have to use our, our uh, level jacks blocks. To, yep. And the jacks we just used to level, just to level a little bit, but more stability, so. Yeah. We are so happy with this. This is beautiful. And we're on the water all the time anymore, so. Oh! Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was showing these guys. Be good, right? Yeah, I think so. And then there's these rocks here. So that gave us a better step to get up onto our step. So that's going to be perfect. Uh, we just missed the sunset. Goes down right over there, so we'll catch that tomorrow. So those are our only neighbors right up there. Other people are just uh, down at the water fishing. Oh, we've got some tenters down here. Yeah, this is so gorgeous. So we decided that we didn't need to be on the water. We were waiting for that spot down there. Um, and then we realized that there's a lot of people fishing and we would probably end up with a lot of fishermen or fisherwomen uh, in our spot tomorrow morning when we woke up <laughs> it is the weekend so we just thought we'd get up here on the hill and have this gorgeous view they're all coming to vegas oh Friday yeah night. look at them all coming yep. in wow <laughs> so that's a good sight to see planes in the air again and people going to vegas winning yeah. a bunch of money well i hope so <laughs> oh listen to the coyotes Listen. I was hoping there weren't any. Bills over there. Wow. There's the moon. Almost a full moon. See Papa? <laughs> huh? Who's up there? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> what? what are you doing? Hi, <laughs> baby. Hi, baby. That's our morning routine. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Somebody came over and left us a little present. I wonder who that could be. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody sneaky, I'm telling you. So our friend Chuck and Jake are right over there. They came in yesterday. I think that he probably came over. Let's see, that's a pretty cool little I rig, know. man. Some little Maybe boys or girls upset that they don't have their yeah. little toy anymore. <laughs> it's heavy. Let's see. I mean, it's it's made pretty daggone well. It's not a little heavy yet. I mean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not a, not a cheap yeah. I like, I like it. it. Is it a Dodge? Oh, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> you would know that before I would know that. I think it's a Ford. <laughs> so Chuck is our friend who is uh, better known as Goat. The Goat. <laughs> the Goat. Because he climbs and hikes everywhere a goat could climb. Yeah. A mountain goat. And if if uh, Chuck says you want to go for a hike, <laughs> you best have your shoes on and you best be prepared. Yeah. For a very long time. He walk. doesn't do little baby hikes. <laughs> no. He does, but <laughs> yeah, better be ready. <laughs> I don't know if birds have brought them up here though. So we were just looking at there's so many little shells everywhere. Yeah, and they're they're definitely a clam. They look like a butter clam. Or could it have been like when the the lake was really high, and then when it drained out, that they became available and the crows and all yeah. the animals brought them up here and ate them. Yeah. So I mean they're. They're just everywhere. They're probably in the lake still. But I don't see them in any of this except for that one. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's my guess is that when the lake was up high, they grew. And then when it when it went down, and as it goes down now, maybe the crows get the uh, clams. Right. Or the seagulls. Remember them at home? They, they grab the clams and uh, they bring them up in the air. And then they drop them down. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. Right. Because over there, when I was on the hill right over there, there was a, a lot of them, too. Yeah, I don't see any inside the um, lines of these rocks here. What'd you think, pumpkin, huh? Well, there's one right there, but I don't know. I don't know if the birds put it in there. Looking for fossils. <laughs> oh no, that was buried in there. Was it buried? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's what it's. That is where it came from. Yep. Okay. There's some glass, babe. Could you grab that for yeah. me? Lots of glass out here. Yeah, I already got a pile Thank up there. Some glass. Yeah. Lots and lots glass of glass. Scotty's been mix. picking it up. Was a full moon yesterday or is today the full moon? I think moon? the full moon's tonight. Tonight? Oh. I think. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll have to look. Oh, I wanted to show you guys one other thing while I'm out here before I go in. Do you guys see on that mountain, do you see where it looks like George Washington laying down? Where the jet's flying over right now? Right where the jet is, but I don't know if they can see right that. Right there. <laughs> oh, that was good. Yep, you hit it. You hit it. You, pick his nose. you picked his <laughs> nose. <laughs> Do you guys see it? It looks like the bottom. Of, it's like his neck, and then his mouth, and then his nose, and then his hair is like going down the mountain. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks kind of like George Washington to me. Oh, that moon is so gorgeous. Wow, so beautiful.